Are you ready to go to a convention? I'm not sure what to pack, or how to pack for that matter. I'm going to go over some of the items that I personally bring, and some of the tricks I've learned for going to a convention. Are you ready? Let's go! Hey, I'm Kamei Turtle, and you are watching Turtle Time. Today, we are tackling the aspect of the fandom with going to a convention. Doesn't matter if you're going to an anime convention, Comic-Con, furry convention, or what have you. Local or far away, everything is there. And chances are, you're going to go and try to pack for it. I'm going to be demonstrating some of the tips and tricks I know for packing for a convention. Whether you're an old seasoned veteran of going to conventions, or a brand new convention goer. Hopefully this will help everybody to demonstrate what I'll be using. I'll be packing this suitcase right here. Okay, are you ready? Let's move it. Hey guys, so I got my suitcase right here. Here's our dimension. Not my feet. This is a smaller size suitcase because whether you go by plane, train, or automobile, you gotta worry about packing and sometimes you gotta worry about weight inside the car. All right. First thing you always have to worry about is how many days the convention goes or how long you plan to stay for the convention. Conventions typically run from two to three days on average, with some pre and post con experiences as well. Some official, some unofficial. So you gotta plan for it before this. Some of the items you need is a change of street clothes for every day you're gonna be out at the convention. This includes some pants, sure, socks, pajamas, and undergarments. I'm not going to show you those because consider them adult material. Other things that you should consider packing down the temperature and weather of the convention. You may want to pack coats, gloves, so on and so forth. Depend upon typical temperature of the convention you're going to. If you're going to Chicago in winter, you're going to want to dress warm. You're also going to want to grab a nice pair of comfy shoes, a spare charging cable, and wall plug for your devices that you plan to bring. Chances are the space if you're going to will not have the core you need. So bring from home, save you some time. You can put it in your suitcase or your carry-on if you're on a public transport like a plane. A couple plastic bags, either just grocery bags to help hold your dirty clothes. Oral health care, this includes toothbrush, a personal taste with toothpaste, maybe some dental floss, and mouthwash. Don't forget deodorant or soap, because it's very important. Most hotels will have soap and shampoo available. Don't forget to rinse off at least once per day at the convention because we don't want any musky husky. No one likes them. I also like to grab a Ziploc bag so I can just chuck my bathroom stuff into it. And that way, if my bathroom stuff does have a leak, it'll be more contained and doesn't get all over my clothes. You are now safe. If you have a suitcase, duffel bag, backpack, what have you, Pockets are your friends. Flipping this back way open, you'll see some netting right here. So I can put important stuff that I want right away, like my charging cable. When I get to where I need to go, it'll be nice and safe right here. Quick access. All right, but what about this other space? This whole space right here. Hmm. Well, I'm going to show you how I'm going to pack this space on myself. I'm going to pack for a good furry convention. Yes, furries do have our own convention. And yes, we do like to show up to other conventions because they have more hobbies than just being furry. This information will apply if you're going to anywhere with costume. If you have specialized shoes for your costume, make sure they're broken in, maybe some blisters. You may also want to grab a small sewing kit for on-the-spot repairs. I don't have one myself, but I get one for my next convention. And that would probably go up here with my charging cable. Alright, first we'll put large soft objects on the outside of the suitcase. This will act as protection for whatever's in the center of the suitcase. Items with natural pockets, like these seats here, can be used for holding small objects, like my hand palm. Socks, try to bundle them up, keep them together, keep them safe. If you have character badges, up here with the pocket or down with your other stuff. Up to you, really. For lanyards, make sure you fold them up Save space. There's not a whole lot of space in here. I might have to figure out a way to do it. I know. I will roll my clothes in pants. I could just throw them in like this. But you're taking up a whole lot of space out. Fold them normally. Still taking up a whole lot. So, what I shall do is fold them and roll them. Line up the pants legs and just fold them over and over and over again like you're rolling up a piece of paper. Bam. Sure, fold them in. Start from the bottom. Small crease. 
and just rolls them up. Now the tidy thing, and I personally done, but you get the idea. Rinse and repeat with everything. Rolling up clothes is a great way to save space. Because we all want to have swag after the end of the convention to show that we've been there, or just something cool we picked up, we want to have space in our suitcase. Once you put it in all the soft stuff, or the majority of it anyway, pick your more valuable hard stuff, like your bathroom kit, put it in the center of all the soft stuff. If it gets bounced around, hard objects will not break or be damaged. That's likely because it's all padded. You know, to put some plushies in here if you want to. Fletchy. Hey guys, post comma here. I forgot that while recording to make sure to grab a mask and probably some hand sanitizer so you can stay healthy from not just the virus going on right now, but also con crud. Yay. For these bags, you can throw them on top, but I like to fold them up to save space. Plan them to get out as much air as possible. Once you fold it up like this, fold them in half, and half again. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. If you're traveling with large prop for your costume, obviously you can't fit in here, right? I mean, there's no way I can fit this guy in here. Away with you. So for large props, you have to be a bit more creative. If you're traveling by personal car, that's fine and dandy. You know what to do with it. But if you're traveling by plane, train, Uber, make sure to check the guideline of traveling before the method of traveling you are planning to take. If you're not sure, call them up. Grab your prop and see what they say. It might be simply a matter of you have to take on with you as a carry-on item or maybe a special packing process. I do not know. I don't use large props typically. This is how I normally pack for a convention and what I try to grab for mine. So to review, tips are use large soft objects to pad the outside of your suitcase. Put your bathroom kit, or anything that's likely to leak into Ziploc bag. Make sure you grab charging cables for every electronic device you plan to take. Put your hard solid objects in the middle of your suitcase. Folding and rolling clothes are a great way to save space. Using the plastic bag can be used for multiple things to make it look a bit more tidy. Make sure to fold them up. If you have any other suggestions or tips Trick or things that everyone should try to pack when you're going to the conventions? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to get pumped for a furry convention, I'm going to link a video I did at Midwest Fur Fest in the cards above and description below. And if you want to watch more furry content, you can check out my last video pinned in the comments below or the video up on screen right now. I hope to see you all next time. Johnny!